Dallas detectives have asked the FBI to help determine if the murder of a transgender woman is linked to several other similar recent attacks. The body of Chanel Lindsay was pulled from White Rock Lake Saturday evening. This afternoon, Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall asked for help from anyone who might have information. Fox 4 Sean Rabs in our newsroom with more on this. Sean. Yeah, the Police Chief Renee Hall says a Chanel Lindsay showed obvious signs of homicidal violence. Now, going back to 2015, four black transgender murders unsolved in Dallas. The chief stressed, though, they don't have the evidence right now to show someone is stalking the transgender community, but she's called on the FBI to join with their investigations. White Rock Lake, around the 4100 block of West Lothar Drive, the watery grave of another black transgender homicide victim identified as Chanel Lindsay. We are Lindsay, born as Jason Hazlitt. At the family's request, showing both pictures of Jason Lindsay and after transition to Chanel Lindsay. The Dallas Police Department uh, has reached out to the FBI. The discovery of Lindsay's body about 5.45 Saturday evening, less than two weeks after police announced they were investigating similarities among three other attacks on transgender women in the last year, including Malaysia Booker. Kirk Myers, Abounding Prosperity, works with Dallas's transgender community and had been assisting Booker. This is a community being uh, targeted. We really need to know that. And even aside from that, Again, it's the homicide rate in Dallas is going up, and it's just happened to be marginalized communities, but I do not think that this is by a chance or coincidence. The part of White Rock Lake where Chanel Lindsay was discovered, about a mile from where Malaysia Booker was found May 18th. Booker had been shot to death, dumped on the street that backs up to Tennyson Park Golf Course. It's the same general area where the bodies of others have been found and where one transgender victim survived a stabbing attack. All lives matter, and this killing needs to stop. Malaysia Booker's mother, Stephanie Houston, speaking for the first time outside of her child's funeral, talking to the transgender community. Out in the streets, don't nothing happen at nighttime and when no one's looking but crime. Keep yourself safe. Get off the streets. Be around the people that love and support you. Now again, the family hoping showing the pictures of Jason Hazlitt and Chanel Lindsay may help folks who knew Lindsay as Hazlitt also uh, come forward and share what they might know. The FBI prepared to assist if investigations determine these murders are hate crimes, but agents could also help analyzing any evidence that may be on hand from Chanel Lindsay's murder, Malaysia Booker's as well, to see if there are any dots that can be connected between right now their killers who are still at large.